surprised the way that I did. You know, I feel I ought to be running on the spot to do this next item because here's a question for you. Has the Olympic legacy been wasted here in Yorkshire? The government today announced plans to overhaul sports funding as the number of people taking regular exercise falls. According to Sports England, around 2.4 million people in Yorkshire and Humber say they want to do more sport. But it's simply not happening. Since the Olympics, participation is down from just under 38% there, look, in 2013 to 36% in 2015. In some parts of our region, the figure is even lower. In Barnsley, less than a third of people do moderate sport once a week. And this all comes as the latest figures show parts of South Yorkshire have some of the country's highest levels of obesity. James Vincent has been to find out what they're doing about it. Summer has kicked off in Barnsley and the government worries we're not doing enough sport. It wants to know where money needs to be spent and one aim is getting children into exercise early. Quick, run, you hit it, go! Participation rates are falling and they want anyone to have a go. This is one of the free sessions that children can get over the school holidays and places like Barnsley need it. The town prescribes the highest proportion of anti-obesity drugs in the country and the latest figures from Barnsley suggest that over 70% of people are overweight or obese. Just down the road in Doncaster, nearly three quarters of adults are overweight or obese. It's the second highest rate in the country. It's absolutely shocking, um, the obesity rate here and in Yorkshire in general um, and that's why we work all the way through from very small children to form good habits um, with our team active events right through to adults in the workplace and families so that we can get people more active. But what about spaces to play? It's two years since the Don Valley Stadium in Sheffield closed. The site is now rubble. In its place will be the Olympic Legacy Park. Schools, pitches and businesses. Will that be better or worse? There will be around three to three and a half thousand people a day going on to the old Don Valley site, the new Olympic Legacy Park. I don't think there were 300 a week going on when it was there as an athletic strike. One of the government's ideas is to give money directly to clubs rather than governing bodies. At the Albert Centre in Sheffield, they know it's a bit like table tennis. It's all about the service you get. In an area of South Yorkshire, we're, we were at the coal face, literally. We're the people that go out and we're the people that try and get people to come in. We know what it's like to run a community group. We know how it is to interact. Maybe people sitting in an office 100 miles away, 150 miles away, they're not the ones that are actually seeing what it's like to get people in. Ultimately, it's all about making it easy for people. And if you give a Yorkshireman a bat, he'll know what to do with it. James Vincent, BBC Look North, Barnsley. Get in. Well, the